<laughs> I'm happy because it's Friday. I'm so glad it's Friday. Uh, right, but today I'm going to just do another going through my collection videos because it's just, I just, I've lost my mojo. So I thought, well, today we're going to go through my nail sugar bits and bobs. And there's probably not as much as what you might think there is. Which, for reasons I will explain, like, I haven't got as many glitters as what you think I might have, but I'll explain why through the video. But I just wanted to take the time very quickly just to say thank you to all of you who have been with me on my channel for years and that are still here, are putting up with me. And just welcome to those of you that are new to the channel. Um, I'm not getting as many subscribers as of late. I'm not quite sure what's going on with YouTubes, but... I just wanted to tell you all that I appreciate every single one of you because without you guys the channel just wouldn't be it wouldn't be anything really so love you all enjoy the video and when I come back feeling hopefully refreshed at some point then we'll get back to doing nail arts so yeah love you all enjoy the video and I'll see you soon love you bye so all my glitters and my decals I keep in this drawer and these are on these are on trays so that they they don't go all over the place um but I'm going to put them on my desk and just show you them sort of pretty almost individually okay one sec okay so I probably don't have as many as you might think that I would have because what happens is when Karen discontinues them I would put them in a box, like a pay it forward box, because because I'm Karen's brand ambassador. If I'm promoting, there's no point in me using glitters that she can she no longer sells because, like, if I do a design and someone thinks, oh, I really want that glitter, and I'm showing it off, and then actually it's a discontinued one. Sorry, it's just it kind of defeats the object a little bit. So when Karen discontinues anything, normally she lets me know. And I usually forget that she's told me and I sometimes use glitters that she... <laughs> Honestly, I'm a right nightmare sometimes. But anyway, in this first tray are the, the glitter glitters. So I kind of tried and put them into a colour order. But then we get to the limited edition glitters. And they sometimes they are kind of like more than one colour. For instance, this one. This is rainbow drops and this has got lots of different colors in so i'm like oh i don't know whether to put it in the blues or whether to put it in the pinks or the lilac do you know what i mean it's like one of those that i don't know so um i kind of ended up putting so i think these are all oh, i don't really know i can't remember i think they're a mix of limited edition and core glitters and then over here in these pots are the newest not those those are what are those those are foils but karen doesn't sell the foils anymore um these are the latest no well these are actually the latest but i can't fit them down the side limited edition glitters the ones these are the ones that she just released but these were the ones before and all these ones that i've that are here i i originally had my glitters in these smaller pots but i prefer them in these these wider flatter pots these i got from i got from amazon just because i like to have more like when i'm showing them off i feel like you get a better look at what they look like when the glitter spread out more than what you would see in the glitter like on a smaller surface just i think that makes sense um, but these fine, these are the fine iridescent glitters that Karen no longer stocks. And when I heard that, I was like, oh, oh no, because I really like these. However, if you're using coloured gel polish, if you've got diamond dust, diamond dust will pick up the colour underneath the glitter. So if you've got, if you've got, if, you do, if you've done an ombre, say you've done like a rainbow ombre underneath, you'll still see all the colours underneath the diamond dust and it will still look sugared like it would using these if that makes sense so really diamond dust would have to be an absolute staple in my opinion I mean I've got loads I'm gonna just like for instance 
There is a set, the Candyland collection, which would be a staple. So in the Candyland collection, you get the vanilla frosting. Hang on, let me just find them all. You get peach sorbet. These are all iridescent ones. You get, I've got to find them though, bear with me. Lemon drop and lime lollipop. You also get, uh, just gonna dig it out. Palmer violet, blueberry bonbon. They're just so lovely. And you get marshmallow sprinkles. I thought there were eight, but I think there might just be seven. Yeah, I think there's just seven. So these would be a staple as well because they're just they're just gorgeous. They're just lovely. Also, another staple, ethereal. This is a good one. Iridescent glitters are just amazing. As for hollow, personally, palladium is amazing. A silver hollow you can't go wrong with. And then she's also got millionaire, which is a gold hollow, which again can't go wrong with and then she's got like other iridescent ones like the sundays which is a yellow and miss miami they're a slightly more opaque iridescent i'm not quite sure if that's the right word and then i tell you which other let me just put these back so i don't get them oh silver hollow silver fine hollow stardust that's a good one um but there are some other ones as well that i really like where did that go that go there i don't know i don't know let's just shove these back because it's like what's it like it's like a jigsaw puzzle you know shove that there purple must have gone there the blue went there the pink went there ah that went in there right there are some other ones as well that i love that i feel like you need in your collection as well and it's these I think they're actually on the confetti part of the website i think i think she calls these i'm not sure but there are a few of these so there's chickadee then you've got forget me not which is the lilac one i'll show you them a bit better in a minute then there is blew me away and there's another one hang on a green one and there's a pink one yes sure that's all of them right so these ones i don't know i haven't got white background down let me just grab a bit of kitchen roll because i feel like the gray is perhaps taking away a little bit from the i don't know if that's made it any better but right these i don't know if you can see but when you move them around right when i'm looking at them they just catch like they it's like a rainbow color they're like rainbow colors when the light hits them i'm not quite sure if i'm doing it any justice uh let's grab this try this can you see can, i don't know if you i don't know if you can tell in the camera but you get like almost like this rainbow oh, i tell you what it's so nice i've never seen when she released these i was like they're matte they're just oh shh i'm lost for words anyway so that's those 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 la, 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 la. <laughs> that's those five there i love these these are amazing and they are they're not hollow but they are they kind of got like a coating on i'm not quite sure maybe that would make them iridescent but i love them they're amazing right and then there's loads of other ones as well so on the website there are loads and loads of, of glitters of various um colors and like there's fine ones and hollow ones and chunky ones there's ones with shapes there's ones without shapes there's so many i love them so much and then this one this tray here let me just swap these over in this one see right for instance i've got some these are like the little confettis i don't think karen's got these anymore but i kept them because they were gorgeous also i've kept some of the old chromes because i like chromes i that's a bit of a lie i don't really like chromes but i like to have different colors and on the website there is a i'll show you hang on so on the website at the moment 
you can get a, a, a lilac, which is like that. You can get a pink, rose gold pink kind of one, a coppery one, a gold one, and a silver one. So you can get, these are like good, uh, what's the word? staple colors i suppose but there was a karen she did release a red one there's another purple one there and a blue the blue was lovely um maybe she'll release some more at some point <laughs> i don't know uh and there's also things on the website like prison powder is not on there anymore again i've kept it because i love it like look this little angel tears confetti the reflection you get off this confetti is just phenomenal it's literally like looking in a mirror. I just, this would, this on like a, on like a hard gel set, cause hard gel is super clear. This would just look incredible. Oh, I love it. And then there are also like these flakes on the website. I think they're still on the website. The gilded gold micro flakes, fiery copper and the bronze truffle. These are all lovely. And this one, although it looks brown, when you put it on and top coat it, it looks almost like a plummy colour from from memory. But it's it's quite um like I was pleasantly surprised by this one. But they're I mean they're kind of like autumn-y they're kind of well, I mean you could use the gold, but the other colours are kind of like autumn colours, but uh, and also, look, I've got in here my pigments. So the neon pigments are always good to have this time of year. I find pigment pigments. <laughs> I find pigments a pain in the bum, but they do really good. Like you can do some really good stuff with these. And then there's also the ombre pigments as well, which is a they're, they're actually shimmer ombre pigments. I used the white one in a recent video. I mixed it with these other ones to give them a shimmer. But that comes as a set with the white and the pink. So I should really keep those together. And then and then like I've got some now sometimes Karen will tell me something has gone, but she brings it back. Like there's she has certain things for different seasons. So I might have things in here at the moment that aren't on the website at the moment. For instance, like these winter leaves. Um these may not be on the website, but it may be something that she brings back next year. So I've I was gonna keep those just in case because I I like them. That's just something I love. Then um like I've got things like these confetti and lace collection confettis. These are absolutely lovely. I personally think these would be great for wedding nails. The like the white and the gold could be for the bride, and then you could have like those colours for the bridesmaids depending on what your colour is for your, you know, your, your theme. Um, but they're really nice. And then there's things like the, now I'm assuming these are all still on the website, but there's like hollow gold, rose gold stars, the iridescent hearts, I love them. The latte, I think they're latte love confettis. They're super, you get the inside here as well. It's where there's a, where the, oh, there's a tiny little like look coffee um you know they could be milkshakes but inside they've got little hearts cut out so inside this pot as well you'll find lots of the little hearts somewhere in there so you can use those as well and then i'm not sure if these are still on the website love hearts they're hollow like pink and it's kind of like lilac and red and then like things like the micro mylars uh, sorry the, there's normal mylar I'm not sure what colours are on the website at the moment, but you'll find a variety of different colours. And then also these micro mylars are amazing. I don't know why I'm talking like that, <laughs> but I really love these. There's the champagne mylar. There's the silver mylar. There's like this blue icy one. I'm not quite sure of the name of it. And then there is this pinky pink did you hear that someone burped outside that was really loud um a pink one but these look amazing i use this one there's it, although it says champagne and silver they are holographic i used this one recently on a smiley face set of nails as, a, as on the background i, I can't show you that way because it's got the nail sugar sticker on but you can just see underneath just how stunning they are oh you need those you need those and then there's like a variety of stars 
I'm not quite sure if they're on the website still. I kept them because they were tiny and I loved them. But you get these cosmic stars, iridescent ones, silver ones, gold ones, and then also these iridescent little stars. And then there's the dazzle glitter pixels, which I just love those. I've still got actually in this drawer, I've still got my, no, 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 not that one. Oh, I'll tell you what. Oh, God, where have they gone? There they are. Look, these were the these were the glitter pixels. Um, I can't remember what they were called, but it's a variety of different coloured ones in there, and I I kept them because I just love them. And I've got the dark. Don't forget the angel dust. Actually, I haven't used this for a while because it's been hidden in my drawer at the back. So I'm going to get this out because I want to use it a bit more because I haven't used it for a while. But the angel dust, I just fell in love with. Um, I went for a phase quite recently of using it a lot, so I think it's probably a good thing I've had a break from it. But seeing as I've just remembered, I've got it in there. See, this is jogging my memory as well. This is this is like a good thing because it's kind of it's getting my, you know, I think oh I haven't used that for a while. I'll give you know it's it's probably gonna hopefully get me back into the swing of and this mystical mylar. I don't think this is is it on the website? I'm not sure, but I love that as well. What else have I got in here? Oh, some fruits. There are Fimo fruits on the website. This is a, I mean, I had so many Fimo things. This is a mixture of like, there's sweets, there's fruits, there's flowers, there's animal, like little cute animals. There's, oh, there's flowers, fruits. There's, oh, feathers. There's other stuff in here, but you can get the Fimo fruits have i got any in yeah look you can get these fimo fruits from karen on the website as well and these are also great for summer i feel i feel like fruity nails are a really good like kind of summer idea like watermelon and all that jazz and now before we go i'm just going to quickly go through the decals with you because i love the decals and if you are not great with doing like hand you know you might not be very good at doing hand painted nail art that's what I'm trying to say there are so many decals on the website now and they just make your life so much easier and they're so quick so I'm gonna go just gonna quickly I've I keep mine I think some of these are empty I do keep mine in these envelopes now. I used to keep them in folders, but I just felt like keeping them in envelopes in like themes just helps me. It just gives me so much more space. So I'm just gonna quickly, we'll quickly just go through them. Some of them I've used a lot and some of them I haven't used much at all, but I'll just flip through. So these are my animals and insect decals. See, can you, it looks, I mean, some of these would be great for the summer there's the bunnies that were great for spring and easter time the little cows little doggies the owls they're kind of i feel like they're a little bit like steampunky i think the owls are adorable foxes hedgehogs butterflies the new butterflies i love um these are my least favorite butterflies out of all the butterflies karen does I, I, you'll we'll come across them in a minute these little birds these little hummingbirds i love these so much oh, i love these as well <gasps> these were the drizzle and squeak oh these are just adorable and these i love these as well cute duckling cuties oh these were good as well so this is i'm gonna be like oh they're good they're good the bunny ears they were good for easter these are my one of my favorite butterflies oh and these are like my second favorite butterflies these would look really nice i don't know if you remember i've done a set of nails with some gold leaf behind some silhouette some flower some mono flowers that karen has i thought they looked really nice and they would look really nice as well with these butterflies over the top in my opinion and then yeah more mice there so these are my insects and animals that i've all put together so they will just yeah just what i mean i mean i just tuck them in there and they just like take up so much so so little space then i've got what i've called summer decals i mean some of these are so like look oh, that's oh, i 
love those these would be amazing although i am a little bit I, I love these however personally i love hand painting or hand drawing palm trees but again like if you can't do that or you just want to do something really quick these are ideal look summer lollipops yes oh, i want to eat that mint one these i haven't used these for a long time i can't remember what i've done with these but those are the i mean how they scream summer don't they and these little i put them in summer but they could be like if karen releases any more foody ones i'd probably put them in a section with like food beach ones i don't know what these are called because i took these off the backing but they're nice i love those flip flop ones i use those for my crazy jelly bean type nails mermaid tails these are the retro glow i love those so much oh and these are cute ocean life see i've put all those in as my summer ones and what else have we got oh i tell you what there's loads in that so we'll go through that last then i've called these flower foliage 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 it sounds funny when i say it okay so here we go these are all the flowery ones i love the cherry blossom ones oh, are they cherry blossom yeah they're cherry blossomy i love these as well these i love these and i love these as well how cute are they and then these were like crystal flowers they're quite unusual i like those and then like autumn-y you could have oh hang on maybe they should go in autumn i've got autumn there i'm gonna put those in autumn although they are still flowers and folk i'm gonna put those in autumn they could be autumn as well but they could also be summer so i'm gonna leave them in the flower ones they look how cute these are i'm sorry but they are just the cutest things little floral hearts oh, i love those then we've got these ones they're pretty and then we've got these see i'm not i'm not these are probably like i'm not too keen on these as you can tell because i've not used them but they're nice i love the colors of these that would be quite nice for autumn like early autumn cut like or maybe late autumn i'm not sure uh, oh and these as well i look i actually quite like these i've used these though so that's a good sign <laughs> and then these i've put in here because it's like clovers but these were the uh st patrick's like the the clover nails nails decals and the cacti ones what are the cacti Cact cute cacti and then these were the mono are they the mono flat yeah mono flowers see these were the ones that i used with the gold leaf behind i thought they looked really cool i like those a lot so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go straight into the autumn ones now just make sure that's in the right envelope there's not as many in here so yeah i will keep those in my autumn one then we've got the pumpkins they're quite cute look tartan pumpkins they're all different colors then the pumpkin spice i feel like that's very autumn then the pumpkins they're cute aren't they and i've put these in autumn as well i mean that could go in flowers and foliage but they they were quite autumny to me and also these i've put in autumn as well the little the, yeah i i don't know what they're called but i felt like they were to me so they would go in there then i have got completely the wrong time of year but these are the christmas winter ones i love these so much gingerbread men penguins i've not used those i can't believe i've not used those look at them and then these ones are oh, how nice are they oh, i love the baubles and the bows and then the tartan bows i'm not quite sure what they were called and then these were the bear cuties or something i love those the snowflakes were amazing oh and the fairy lights oh see look i can't wait for christmas now this is ridiculous the nativity ones are sweet and then these are the the like wintry that might i mean you could use those for autumn as well the stags with the yeah i don't know how to describe that because my brain's gone completely blank but those are the winter ones then the gonks i put all the gonks together even though they are like obvious gonks 
but there's obvious times of year to use particular gonks but there's a load of gonks so if you like gonks look purple gonks pumpkin gonks there's two types of christmas gonks look oh i love them so these ones are smaller karen did redo some of the stickers the decals because these were quite big and they wouldn't like they wouldn't fit on a like a little small nail so she redone some to make them smaller so you you obviously get more decals for your money as well but they're also better for smaller nails so i'm not sure if these are available anymore they might be but there's yeah she i know she'd had redone some of them um i actually prefer these ever so slightly to these ones anyway so yeah but they're 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 the gonks then these are the wintry kind of gonks again look there's small ones on there and bigger ones so if you've got a client that likes extra long nails they'll have you know these will be great but then if you've got clients that have more active length nails then these smaller ones would be great as well ladybird ones bee ones Look, lilac ones look, again look these were these were the first ones that she done the first kind of decals that she done and you can yeah so you'll notice that some of the newer decals that karen's done look, are a lot you know there's a, they're a lot smaller um which is you know more ideal for look the active length nails so and these look oh i love them with a the little cherry on the top and i can't remember what any of these are called but they will all be on the website for you. These are the St. Patrick's Day ones. And these are the spring gonks, I believe. Yeah, look, spring gonks. I remember those ones. So there are loads of... It was, it's been over like the last couple of years. Gonks have been really popular, haven't they? I don't know whether they will be this year. But I think we should keep them popular. The miscellaneous decals. I didn't know where to put these ones. So I've just got a packet called miscellaneous this could be summer the fruits but again you could use them anytime and again the this the camper vans could be summer but i just again i just put them in miscellaneous the vw um the what are they called the beetle beetle car i love these pop art ones they're amazing i love these as well the ones with the words i'm, I'm i'd love karen to bring out some some more with with different with small words on that would be oh yeah oh and these these are super ideal now if you for instance look i've used loads of these heart these stars because i cannot for the life of me hand paint stars so i put these down and then i can hand paint over them and use them as a template the same with the hearts but if you're not very good at drawing hearts you can use these as templates and they're just amazing all right these were valentine's and then steampunk style ones. I can't remember what these were called. But again, they're kind of... I mean, they could be autumn-y, couldn't they? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what, where I'd put them. But these are little, like, galaxy-type ones. Um, angel wing ones. Rainbows. Crystals. More rainbows. Um, baby ones, like you know gender reveal type ones flat um flowers feathers more feathers camera ones i like those i really like these camera ones they're cute and sham i can't remember what ones these were these are good for new year these are ideal for new year then geode ones and pac-man ones like gaming ones i love these they're cute Oh, these are good as well. The the like writing ones and the bubbles. The bubbles are so cute as well. Oh, I love those. Yeah. So those are my miscellaneous ones that I just thought. Yeah, I just thought. I think that's it. I don't think I've got any more in there. Then, oh, I tell you what, I do have some. I lied. And by the way, I haven't mentioned it, but I'm sure you all know by now, you can save 10% off any nail sugar items using my code NATMUG10. These are new to use. So some of these are new and some of them, they're not new, but I've, I've never used them. So I put them in this envelope so that if I want to, like if I'm thinking, oh, what should I, what should I do today? 
um, I can go to this and think, right, I haven't used decals for a while. Let me look through here. And I can look through the ones that I haven't used yet. So the ones that I haven't shown off. And the, I mean, there's quite a few. Some of them I, at the time, like I didn't know what to do with. And I didn't think they were quite right for the time of year. For instance, over the winter, I had these and I thought, well, they're a bit more, but I, I mean, I don't, yeah, I should use them really. There's more feathery ones little spaceman ones they're cute more flowery ones i prefer the colors of these flowers look animal print animal print ones i think there's something to do with those cat ones how cute are the cats then these these are not as new as i think they are no um but i like these and i've not used them yet i don't know why oh i don't know why that's in there because i've used them but I don't know if that was in a video or not. And then these were some of the more recent ones. The, the, yeah, the very, very recent ones uh, that I've not used. The Mexican florals, the floral guitars. These are so cool. I love these. I feel like Karen's husband was a little bit of an inspiration for these, potentially, because he's got, he loves, he's got a guitar and he's been posting a lot about it lately because he's been changing the shape of the end bit i don't know what it's called but yeah and i wondered if maybe steve had a a little part to play in her designing these but i, I it might not have been um these are cute as well the floral feathers i might do something with those look how look at that aren't they amazing they're so nice and then lastly but not least the lavender sprigs i love the smell of the smell of lavender just reminds me of I kind of reminds me of my mum. I'm not quite sure why. But yeah, I, we there's a lavender. I think it was in the old garden where we used to live growing up. I can't remember. But anyway, so there we go. That's all the decals. Hopefully, I might actually have next week off. I might do because uh, I thought like, yeah, I might have next week off and then come back the week after. Hopefully a little bit more refreshed and feeling a little bit more creative i just I, I don't know i'm yeah i've just lost my creative flow and do you know what if i could afford a holiday i'd go on holiday actually i couldn't because the kids have got school but there we go it is what it is so i might just take some time for me and just yeah just sort my life out actually my life's not a mess i just i don't know what's up with me at the moment i need a big kick up the bum but anyway, thanks for being here and putting up with me and just watching. It means a lot, those of you that are still here and have been here for yonks. And even those of you who are new here, I appreciate you being here. And I love you all to bits because without you guys, the channel would just not be worth doing. So thank you so much. I love you all. Enjoy your weekend. And I might pop a video up or two next week if i don't i will be back soon so god bless love you all and i'll see you very soon love you bye